steps. Even though the stepping stone was such a huge delay and such a huge change to our lives that it's all going to be okay. Yeah, hearing her speak with such calm, you'd never know the chaos which was going on behind the scenes before opening, well, a new brewery. But now, years later, that dream's become a reality. 27 First News reporter Julie Bursick is live in the studio tonight with the story you'll see first on WKBN. Julie? Hey, Erica, you know, when you open a business, you can expect a lot of things to go wrong. An order doesn't come in on time, there's some permitting issues, and a lot more can happen. Those all happen for John and Abby Chandler but they were really just minor issues compared to the unexpected medical delay they got this summer. John and Abby Chandler sit in the tasting tavern of their new business, Paladin Brewing. They like craft beers and have always wanted a different taste. Maybe a little bit more depth of flavor than the others, and um, after a visit to Colorado, we realized that they existed. They couldn't find that taste in Youngstown, so they started making their own beer in their garage. Then they thought about a brewing business. Just open this, um, only putting the weekends and evenings into it, and um, boy, were we wrong. They went all in. A year and a half later, they were close to the opening of Paladin Brewing. Then John started having headaches that didn't go away. I had a large cancerous tumor in my sinus cavity, and uh, it, was, it was very large, and it was actually pushing my eyeball out of my head, not to be disgusting. The news was crippling, but not enough to stop John from opening his brewery. Instead of eight beers, he went with four and had a 15-hour surgery at the Cleveland Clinic this summer. When he woke up, life was different, but he was alive. Unfortunately, they had to take my eye, but because they took my eye, they were able to get all the cancer removed from my head. Now the couple is working around the clock to get their dream ready for Saturday's grand opening. <laughs> Family and friends all chipping in, from putting chairs together to scrubbing the floors. It's all kind of surreal for Abby. We still get to do this. We still get to open the brewery. We still get to live this dream, and we still get to raise our family together. On Saturday, basically, I'm going to open the, new, the doors at noon, and I hope somebody's going to walk through and say, I want a beer. I'm going to say, what kind? It's going to be a big celebration. A dream, now reality, and a new chapter, cancer-free. So John made four beers to that opening. You can expect an American Blonde Ale, an American Pale Ale, and two IPAs. So as far as the name Paladin, John says finding a name that wasn't registered, that was difficult. He went through hundreds of names. He likes nights, and while his kids were playing a video game, he saw a Paladin. He liked it, and that name was actually available. Dave and Erica? Pretty incredible story, isn't it? Yeah, maybe the kids will go to Furman University now. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs>